Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flo Joe. So today we are going to be looking at the OR function. We're going to firstly start with a variable of name, which is going to be a string variable, and we're going to pass in the value of Flo Joe. Then we're going to have a second variable. This is going to be a number variable. So it's going to be an integer variable, and we're going to pass in the integer of 1. So let's actually take a look at the overall expression then. We have or contains name Joe, and then we have a comma equals number three. So or actually takes in two expressions. So in our instance, we're using contains and equals. So let's actually break this down further. So contains allows you to pass in a string, for example, and then you can pass in a second parameter such as Joe and you can actually see if the first one contains the second. So in this instance we're checking to see if FlowJo contains Joe. And then in the equals function we are passing in the variable of number which will be 1 and we're seeing if it equals to 3. So you can actually pass two parameters in, the second one gets compared to the first and if they are equal it will return a true result. So our overall expression is or and our contains and equals. So what's going to happen is it's going to check the first. Does FlowJo contain Joe? Well, it does, so that's going to be true. Then it's going to check equals. Does the variable number, which is one, equal to three? Which it doesn't, so it's going to return false. However, because, uh, because of how or actually works, it checks both of them. And if one of them is true, it will return true. If both of them are true, it will return true. If both of them are false, however, it will return false. So in this instance, we're going to get true. So let's actually take a look at this on Power Automate with those three examples. Okay, so we are on the Power Automate website. We've got a manual trigger to trigger this flow, and we also are setting two variables that we just spoke about. Where they're setting flow Joe to a string variable, and we are setting the integer of one to the number variable. Right, so let's see what we're actually putting in our expression then. We're going to check in this instance if flowjo contains Joe or the number variable equals three. So in this instance, we've got one expression which will be true one will be false because as we can see we've got the number one here but we're passing in the parameter of three which is the first example we spoke about uh, moments ago then in the second version we are passing in two false uh, situations where we're using does flowjo contain meg obviously it doesn't and then we're seeing if the number variable equals the three which it doesn't because it's one then we're going to go through and do two positive values, two true values, where we're going to say, okay, does FlowJo contain Joe? Yep, it does. And then we're going to do another, which is equals, does the number, um, does the number variable of one equal to one, which it does. So what we're expecting here is because there is a true value, we're expecting the first one to be true. Because there are two negative, two false values, we're expecting a return of false from the or. And then in the final one, because there are two true values, we're expecting a true result to be returned. So let's actually take a look at this then. Okay, so let's just run the flow. And as you can see, the flow ran successfully. Our variables were assigned. So let's see what we get back from our first situation where does FlowJo contain Joe and the number variable equal to three, which obviously it doesn't, but we get a true back because the first one that we passed in was true. Now we're passing in two false values and we're getting a false back because neither of these were true. Was Does flow Joe contain Meg or does the number variable three equal to one? No, it doesn't. Uh, it's, 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 they are both false, so we get a false value back. And then finally, we have two true values used. Does flow Joe contain Joe? Yes, it does. And does the number variable equal to one? Yes, it does because it's one to one and we get a true back. And that is how you use the or function on Power Automate. 
That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.